Mentor Graphics is the technology and market share leader in both physical verification and silicon test and yield analysis. 3D IC technology has been getting a lot of attention in the press and at technical conferences. Whether the 3D IC is built on silicon interposers or stacked die with through silicon vias, Mentor Graphics is uniquely positioned to support our customers. If you think about what people will immediately think of with 3D, which is that you use three silicon vias, through silicon vias to actually stack potentially logic devices to enable an alternative to Moore's Law scaling. Now, if that was actually happening today, that's relatively disruptive. You have to look at completely different place and route environments. You have to look at how we would then partition fine-grained homogeneous logic structures between two different die. How you deal with the interaction between the through silicon via and any surrounding logic, whether that be from a stress effect or a parasitic effects. And those are going to be interesting problems, but they're also not what's really happening right now. Where people are using through silicon vias in the chip, it's more to enable things like wide memory I.O. with stacked memory die on top, where you have a much more constrained architectural problem when looking between those dies, which again, even in areas where you're using three silicon, through silicon vias in the die area, takes it into an evolutionary problem for, th for EDA. 3D ICs create a challenge for physical verification. Multiple dies will be placed on an interposer or stacked using through silicon vias. And physical verification solutions such as DRC, LVS, and parasitic extraction need to treat this as a single system to verify the connections for correct offset and conductivity. There are all the classic problems you have when you're in a single die, but now multiplied by this multi-technology approach. So what we've done is focused on bringing technology out that's at customers today that enables us to do that interface verification, thus extending their existing technology, their existing design flows, to be able to handle these types of new designs. The test challenges for 3DIC include having a test process in place that minimizes test escapes in order to avoid failures after the 3DIC is assembled. In addition, getting test data for the assembled 3D IC to test the stack through a limited number of external pins will be a challenge. And finally, there is a challenge to verify all the die-to-die -die interfaces. And that's where I think we've also been very fortunate in that all of those problems occur in the SOC domain for really advanced users and we've been responding then to them for years so we directly have technology like our compression technology to enable low vector count for very high test quality. Uh, some of the technology in and around uh, interface verification that we put together. All of these things combined together that we think that the test problem is very constrained at this point in time and has an available technology stack to enable us to do this. Mentor Graphics is well positioned to help our customers through the adoption of 3D IC technology. Leaving aside the, the buzz aspects, there's a real ability of this technology to potentially deliver different characteristics from a systems perspective out to the end user electronics. Uh, you look at some of the things people are doing in terms of using wide I.O. memory with through silicon vias to a memory stack to not only give you equivalent or better bandwidth, but significantly reduce the power, a critical aspect to enabling some of the new cell phone technology that we're trying to put in place. So I think it's real. I think there's going to be lots of people talking about it at DAC, and I know we're emphasizing what we've done to ensure that over the next couple of years we can enable this to happen, uh, at least from our side of the software stack. Thank you.